Hey everyone, Julie here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you 10 things you didn't know about me. I recently reached 100 subscribers and I had made a goal for myself basically that when I got to 100, I wanted to share with you all some things about me. And it has taken me, I don't know, five minutes or so just to figure out where to record this video because we are in a hotel and I wanted to get this video up for you, but the lighting has not been wonderful. Um, something you didn't know is I also do photography, so that's why I'm in a hotel. I'm doing a photo shoot for my husband's company today, and I have some extra time, so I thought I'd hop on here and answer some questions for you. I just searched like new YouTuber questions that people ask, and there was hundreds of them. I just picked out 10 um, because I don't want this video to go on forever. So, first of all, my name is Julie, if you don't already know that, and um, I grew up in, so the first question is, where did you grow up? I grew up in Rochester, New York. I no longer live there, but that's where I grew up my whole life. I moved away, how old was I? 28 years old, I think, I moved away. I moved to North Carolina originally, and now we are in Maryland, and we've been in Maryland for nine years. Um, how old were you when you got married? I was a baby. I was 18 years old when I got married and my husband was 20. Um, so we got married very young and we are going to be celebrating our 20 year anniversary. So I just told you how old I was. <laughs> um, how many children do you have and how old are they? So I have four children. My oldest is 19. Um, then I have a 16 year old who's almost 17, a 15 year old and a 12 year old. What was the scariest time in your life? So the scariest time for me in my life was when my daughter was, we were in Home Depot. We were shopping for some hardwood floors and my four year old, actually I don't even know if she was four, she was probably almost four year old went missing. and. It was extremely scary. We were calling her name. We could not find her. The manager got involved. The store employees were running up and down aisles looking for her. They were going in the back looking for her. They did the whole, I don't even know what the code is, but whatever the code is to shut down the store. I mean, it was like crazy. The manager had come up um, to us and it, literally it was only minutes, but it felt like forever. <laughs> Um, and the manager had come up at one point and said, should we call the police? And I looked at my husband and we were just about to call the police. And, um, one of the employees started yelling, I found her, I found her. She had, we were in the hardwood floor aisle. My husband was at the end cap with a couple of our kids and I was in the aisle with her and my other son. And she had climbed up behind, I was looking at flooring on one side and she was behind me and she had climbed up into the the stack of hardwood floors that were kind of in the shelf and was hiding there and she didn't come out she said that she saw a creepy guy and it freaked her out and so she hid in there and she was too scared to like let anyone know she was in there but that was scary I was panicking I almost started crying you know your mind just thinks the worst and so that was definitely the scariest moment of my life um, my favorite ice cream flavor, um, I love chocolate almond. It's hard to find um, in most places, but in Rochester, they make chocolate almond at like all the local burger joints, and that's my favorite. It's like a soft, creamy chocolate, and it has almond slivers in it. It is so good. It is so good. Um, let's see. The fa my favorite place I have vacationed. Um, that one's tricky because I've always said that California, San Diego, California was my favorite. I love it there. The weather's awesome. Um, it's just a pretty place. I just love it there. But this past year we went to Maui and I'd have to say now that's probably my favorite place. Um, there was rainbows every day. The weather was gorgeous. I have great memories there. It was, I just love it. 
So I would say Maui is my favorite place I've vacationed. Um, my husband's somewhere in the room and he disappeared. Oh, I think he's in the bathroom. Okay. Um, am I a dog or a cat person? I am a dog person. Um, my favorite movie. My favorite movie. I have two very different favorite movies. I love the movie The Giver. I think that is a phenomenal movie. If you have not seen it, I recommend going and seeing The Giver. But I also love How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That movie cracks me up. I've seen it so many times and it cracks me up every time. I'm not even sure why I love it. But I love it. Okay, I like, I love Matthew McConaughey. Maybe that's why I love it. <laughs> no, but it's just funny. I love funny comedy, romantic comedies. They're just my favorite. Um, two more questions. My favorite restaurant. I love the melting pot. Not for the dinner necessarily, but I love it for the cheese and the chocolate. So I would I could go to the melting pot, just do the cheese and the dippings for the cheese, and then get the chocolate and do the dessert. Because that, oh my gosh, there's nothing like that is my favorite. So I like the melting pot. Are you high maintenance? I was gonna have my husband answer that. Honey, am I high maintenance? Uh, that's a trick question. Why is it a trick question? It's loaded. Oh, just tell me, am I high maintenance? I probably am high maintenance because <laughs> I've heard him complain about me being high maintenance. I don't really know why I'm high maintenance. I'm pretty easy going because I'm actually a homebody, so I could just be home all day. I feel like that's not very high maintenance, but he would definitely say I'm high maintenance. You are perfect, hon, just the way you are. Okay, so he says I'm perfect, so I'm not high maintenance, I'm just perfect. Um, so I think that's all the questions. Favorite movie, dog? Yes, that's all the questions for this video. I would love to do more questions. If you want to know more about my life, let me know with questions below. Maybe for fun, you could tell me your favorite ice cream. That would be fun to know your favorite ice cream. And thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this getting to know me. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.